beehive house, polygamy, harems, desert. On the satellite chart just above, the Mormon temple and the Mormon tabernacle and the assembly hall are all located on the temple square. To the right of temple square is the location of the beehive house, a Freemason term and symbol of industry, or, like a beehive, mind control. The beehive also is made up of cells, as in a prison, and this prison produces honey. The Mormon religion wanted to adopt this name Deseret, when they first settled in Utah, because Deseret means honey bee. The federal government rejected that idea, for the name Utah, supposedly after the Ute Indians of the area. Deseret equals desert equals honey bee, the beehive house was Brigham Young's first official residence for himself and his wives. Brigham Young was a practicing polygamist and had many wives. Polygamy equals polyplastic, many, oil, dash gam equals IAM, or IAM or gams or legs of a pretty woman, haram equals mara equals mara equals maria haram means forbidden, and also refers to the many beautiful wives of a wealthy Arab man. A polygamist is someone in control of a haram, or many marys, which are many seas. What has just been described, regarding the beehive house, which is a freemasonic house, with a huge beehive monument on its roof, are characteristics that are closely related with the Arab world and the Islamic religion. The Arab Islamic world is known for being in the middle of the desert as is Salt Lake City. The Arab sheikhs are known for their harams, or for keeping many wives as did the Mormons up until recently, and still do in British Columbia and elsewhere. These two characteristics are based on ancient sun god worship rituals, practiced by the pharaohs equals pharaohs, and kept secret in Freemasonic circles, as well as other sexual practices not recognized as being practiced by the mainstream population. Polygamy and a desert environment are powerful subliminal, hypnotic symbols, relating to the worship of the sun god of Egypt and the Arab world. Just the mention of a sultry desert oasis, maybe a camel, and the warm desert air and cool water to quench one's thirst, and beautiful women in silk and perfume are not far off in the imagination. This is what Mormonism is symbolically representing on the rock of the eleven western states. This is the quest of the three kings of Orion. The quest for the gold of the Golden State, and the Golden Gate the many Mary's mother's milk, the desert, the desert, the honey bee, all flowing in the land of milk and honey in California, the promised land. Lion's House, Lion's Gate Bridge, Sheep Gate, 2010 Olympics, Vancouver Mount Olympus Washington, Beehive House soon became too small for Brigham Young's, BMG, Why Words, Many Wives and Children. On the satellite picture showing the location of the Beehive House, just to the left is the Lion's House. This was Brigham Young's second residence to accommodate his growing family. This name relates to the other gate or bridge, on the eastern wall of the old city walls of Jerusalem, called the Lion's Gate, or St. Stephen's Gate, and the Sheep Gate. This coincides with the location of the Lion's Gate Bridge in Vancouver, and the site of the 2010 Winter Olympics. Winter equals wind sacrifice cross and er equals re equals ra equals what, the wind water. Dash or the Winter Olympics is symbolic for the winning by water for the Luciferian Illuminati Islamic agenda. Located nearby, at one time in Jerusalem's history, on the eastern wall, was the Fish Gate. The Fish Gate was located at the southeast corner of the east wall and would coincide with the location of Los Angeles, extending down into Mexico, when placed over the 11 western states map. This coincides with the tale of the fish as shown on the chart below, titled Mecca Fish God, 11 west states approximately four charts below. Just around the corner from the old fish gate location, on the south wall, is the dung gate, which coincides with the location on the fish's body where it defecates. The dung gate coincides with the green bleachers in the fish's tail, where the people would sit. The people are the dung and the sacrifice. 1.5 to 2.5 holy of holies ratio, 15 to 2, Mormons, prostitution, gambling, the Freemasonic Islam spirit. It's interesting to note that the Mormons, under the direction of Joseph Smith and Brigham Young, settled the regions around Salt Lake City. They spread the temple building program throughout Utah and Arizona and the other states in the region. Yet this is the part of the world known for legalized prostitution and gambling. Something went terribly wrong, one would assume, with their missionary work. On the other hand, maybe this is what the missionary work of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was supposed to do. Create a sinful culture that could be looked down upon from on high, Montana, in that great and horrible fucking day of judgment from that great fucking god called fuck. Oz people, in all fairness though, Mormonism isn't all about fucking and fuck. They have good wholesome family folks within their ranks. For instance, some perfectly perfect Latter-day Saint Saints are the Osmonds. Remember them? The Osmond brothers. 
Osmonds equals Oz Mountain, a perfectly wonderful, super delicious name. Nothing to be alarmed about. After all, they were discovered by Disney when they first appeared as a barbershop quartet. Perfectly wholesome entertainment. Disney equals Diz I equals Dizzy and FBI mind control experiment arranged by 33rd degree Freemason J. Edgar Hoover. The most famous members of the Osmond family are Donnie and Marie Osmond. Donnie equals Dawn equals the rising sun and Marie equals Mary equals the mother sea. Gosh Willie G, they were so cute together. Almost boyfriend and girlfriend like. The ancestral background of the Osmonds harkens back to Wales. Wales a big fish, and the county of Merth Iridefield. Merth Iridefield equals Mer or Sea. Thyrota or Iwata Tidefield equals Tidefill. Such a wonderful, old country ancestry with no bad karma following them to the new land of Zion, Utah. Well, maybe that one thing concerning Merth Iridefield. This name comes from a female saint of Wales, Street Tidefill. She was one of the daughters of King Brychan of Brycheniog. It seems some pagans martyred the poor girl in 480 AD and she was thereafter made a saint. Her feast day is August, 8th month or control, the 23rd, coincides with 11 or death. Below is the Merthyr coat of arms. It combines the golden yellow of California, with the blue of the Pacific Ocean. Absolutely brilliant, and not at all symbolic of anything special. Merthyr underscore tide full underscore arms. These special white-teethed icons of Holsomnianess have done some extremely refreshing commercial TV work. In 2006 they were part of the Pepsi Twist commercials with that other wholesome Oz family, the Osbournes, starring Ozzy Osbourne and family. It truly doesn't get more family-oriented, Orion Ted, than that. You just got to love these folks. Pepsi Twist equals PP Swirl of Oz mythological Egyptian god. Ozzy equals Ozzy long form of Oz Osborne equals Osborne equals birth of Oz equals birth of the Christ confusion equals Navidad equals nativity equals Nevada. Donnie even went out on his own and did Joseph in the amazing Technicolor dream coat play. We're talking big time amazing. This coat was a rainbow of color. Big as Noah's rainbow after the global warming flood comes. This play was completely based on that precious story in the Luciferian, Lightbringer, inspired Bible, concerning Joseph's coat of many colors. There just aren't enough p-words to describe how this story makes one feel. I've already used perfect and precious. Freemason, Mormon, Islamic, Arab world, Christian dogma, nose rainbow after the rain. Pure, perfect and precious. Let's continue. The Kaaba, Foundation Stone, Mormon Temple, the Judgment Stone of Allah, of LA Los Angeles, just as Yellowstone Park is the holy stone on the Judgment Stone of the 11 Western States. The Mormon Temple is the Holy of Holies on the Judgment Stone. Temple Square Holy of Holy, Big Dipper, Starry Plow of Big John, Big Bad John Deere. The connections with Illinois, the 11 Western States and the symbolism of the John Deere Plow and the Big Dipper, Starry Plow are further enhanced with the location of the Mormon Norvu Temple located in Norvu, Illinois. This temple is located right on the western border of Illinois, just as the Cahokia native city was. This makes them symbolically important in regards to events concerning the Pacific Ocean, as the western border of Illinois is the west coast of the states. The chart below shows the location of Norvu and its location directly across from the Iowa, Missouri border. This coincides with the fault line entering California at Eureka and Crescent City and travels towards Sacramento. Norvu equals O of U and equals O van equals oven. Norvu Temple, Rock Fish, Fish Rock, Pope Simon Peter, there's something fishy about Mecca. Have a look at the shape of the largest mosque in the world, as redrawn from a satellite view. This explains a lot about the symbolism of Nimrod, or Oan, who is Jonas, or Joha who was swallowed by a fish, who is Joshua, who fought the battle of Jericho at 800 feet below sea level, who is Jeshua, or Yeshua, Yahweh, who is John, who is Jesus, who is Zeus, who is the fish god of Babylon. The fish hat that the popes wear. The Christian fish symbol and how Jesus made his converts to be fishers of men. Jesus also fed the masses with either two fish, or sometimes a few fish, and did a lot of hanging around with fishermen. The mosque at Mecca is the largest mosque in the world. That mosque coincides with the 11 western states, and is therefore, without a doubt, the largest mosque in the world. Just as Alexa, or Alaska, is the furthest mosque, Mecca, or Mesa, is the largest mosque. Mecca fish god one, rock cod groupers, seems like we'll be having fish for supper, now for a poetic interlude. Hey Didle Didle, the catty in the fiddle the cow jumped over the moon the little god left to see such s poor tea and the dish rain yawe with the spooners, black water, Mormons, Islam, the fox, or dog, or bear, 
is definitely guarding the chicken house now. The number five equals sacrifice. As this page shows, Utah is the home of the Mormons, which is the home of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This geographical location coincides with the Holy of Holies on the foundation stone, which coincides with the Kabaki building in the Mecca Mosque, which in turn coincides with the Mesa formations in the 11 western states. All of this is now coming together to create our illusory hypnotic reality tunnel just ahead. The Blackwater logo has five claws. Sacrifice again. It looks like a dog, God print, and a bear print. The word bear equals the bear market meltdown and the global warming flood water. For sure, they're meaning it to be black, death water. Blackwater underscore logo. Blackwater is associated with the Knights of Malta, which is just Freemasonry, Knights Templar type thinkers. It was the island of Malta and Scotland where the Knights Templar fled after the Catholic Church started to kill them off after the Crusades. They later emerged as the Freemasons, 33 degree Scottish Rite, and the Knights of Malta about 300 plus years ago. These guys are Islamic, which means they're Christian, Jewish, Islamic. The children of Abraham. They are the children of sacrifice and there's absolutely no way they're not going to attempt sacrificing. Sacrifice is what brings the elect of God in close communion with their God. The fish god which was shown in the shape of the mosque at Mecca, goes back to Nimrod, Oan in Babylon. This is also the fish god Rem in Egypt. Rem equals Mer equals C. Another Egyptian fish god was called Dagon and is related to the Hebrew word Dag. Here we go on a little link up of god names. Dagon equals Dagon equals Death Ray Iron equals Dragon a serpent fish monster Dagon equals Dayan equals Yadon equals Yod the pronunciation of God's name in Hebrew because it's too holy to say fuck Dagon equals Dogon equals Doggy and equals God Dayan the fish God Dagon is a dog god as such as the Sirius star. The dog star Dagon equals Dogon equals Yodon equals Your One equals Yahweh equals the way and links to Jesus, the way the truth and the light and is the inspiration for the fish symbol used by Christians. Jesus is the fish god. Dagon equals Dayan equals Dan equals Day I equals Deity the fish god Dagon is the deity, the father god Dagon equals fish water sacrifice god equals fish bear dog, Dagon fish god, man's best friend is a dog. Well, maybe not. Hot diggity dog. Well, maybe not so hot. Hot diggity dog equals hot die I die god equals hot die I die god. This ridiculous linking between these god notions makes it pretty apparent that there are no gods. Just the fabricated myths revolving around the gods that eventually conjure up the 3D illusions around us that support the notion that there is a God. All through these illusory ages, every generation has sworn allegiance to the one true God. Every generation is certain, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that their Jesus is the real Jesus, or the real Zeus, or the real Savior. And the endless reasonings, and excuses they contrive to remain faithful to an illusion is beyond comprehension. With the resulting life experience of their faithfulness to an illusion, always including confusion, suffering and pain, and ultimately the illusion of death. Roman Catholic Islam Fishism and the Church of Anglers, Pope Dagon Fish God, all this black water symbolism is creating our illusory future reality. Little by little, brick by brick, the Wizard of ODDS continues its lunacy. Just look at all the B and J and G names, along with the other symbolic names that are associated with this organization. This is simply transinducement symbolism relating to the sacrificial pillars. They are no more real than any of us. We are all an illusion, and these lunatics are doing everything in their power to keep us believing this myth. Consider the judgment of Allah. Allah equals Hallow equals Hallow equals LA, Hell equals L equals Lu equals LA, LA equals Allah equals Hell equals the eternal fiery pit for the ungodly. In other words, Allah, the God of judgment and eternal fire, is simply a subliminal message telling the masses that Allah will send fire and judgment upon the corruption of LA and it's so conveniently located right below the city of LA. In other words, the fiery judgment of LA was predetermined many long illusory years before any naughty people located there. The seismic volcanic region of the western states was just waiting for the right moment in the Luciferian agenda to be used to pull off this horrific stunt. It has nothing to do with corruption, sin, or wickedness that needs to be cleansed. It has everything to do with creating an illusion to draw us into a hypnotic trance whereby they can control our eternal paradise state right now. Jesus wept. <laughs> To be continued. That's what I always say backwards right here.